Greetings, unsettled souls! Well, welcome to the Correct News. Sam and I meet again, she's doing political commentary for the media speaks. Are you using a different camera? I'm still going to be going live when I can, but Google has went ahead and made it impossible for me to go live today. They're having some kind of a glitch. Hopefully it's going to be fixed up by the time that I go live on the Media Speaks, which will be in about 11, uh, 10 hours and 45 minutes. <laughs> and, uh, and then about 2 p.m. actually, so about 11 hours from now. 2 p.m. on the Media Speaks. Also, I want to thank everybody who's been with me during the whole the last month. I've been showing up in black makeup and everything. Well, check this out, friends. I won Actor of the Year Award with the uh, acting troupe that I was with at The Legend of Bear Creek. And that fine candle thing that has replaced Casey's uh, picture of uh, Boba Fett. Shout out to Casey. Um, thanks, everybody, for putting up with uh, all the black makeup and strange hours and irregular posting hours. It paid off, friends. All right, 12 days of Trump. Going into it further here, Breitbart.com. We're going over reasons to why you are going to want to vote for Donald Trump as opposed to Mrs. Clinton. Well, here's a very good reason. Obamacare victims revolt. We don't have that kind of money. And for those of you that don't know what they're talking about there, uh, people like me used to have stunning insurance, and then we were charged a whole lot more money for insurance that didn't do as much. Our rates went through the roof. Um, it happened to me twice. I've told the story many times on air. You can look it up. Once for vertigo and uh, once for cutting the tip of my finger off. And I'll tell you what, friends. The O-Care, the big Obamacare, has been the big golden goose egg. It has been a huge, huge hurt to a lot of people. Well, listen to this. Some users, this is on Breitbart, some users of Obamacare are finding the medical care they need to be too expensive to use due to high deductibles and high out-of-pocket costs. Michelle Harris is one of those people. Harris, a 61-year-old retired waitress in northwest Montana, had arthritis in both shoulders but is doing everything she can to avoid being seeing a doctor due to a $4,500 deductible and $338 a month in premiums for Blue Cross. Friends, I had really good insurance. I was paying like 60 or 70 a month. Uh, I, I'm on like a, a, an insurance light now. It's, it's almost like insurance. It counts as insurance, but it doesn't fit into a lot of the Obamacare structures. And I'm sure they're going to work to make it illegal. It said, it hurts, but we don't have that kind of money. And she said, so I deal with it, meaning the pain. Some insurance plans under Obamacare are designed not to kick in until patients have spent thousands of dollars in out-of-pocket costs, which put many health care services out of reach for patients. Even though the uninsured rate in America is at a record low, a study from the Commonwealth Fund found that 4 out of 10 adults in Obamacare plans aren't confident that they can pay their medical bills if they get sick. Basically, they gave everybody terrible insurance, made them pay a fortune to have this terrible insurance, and then said, look, everybody's insured. Didn't we do great? Uh, a lot of people are still in catastrophic illness away from, being, from, from feeling the financial impact of this, said Jonathan Oberlander, the health policy professor for the Uni of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. They're underinsured, and that means they're not going to get all the services they want or that they need. The survey by Kaiser Family and Foundation New York Times found that one in five people with insurance said they or someone in their household had difficulty paying their medical bills. Yeah. Yeah, we, when you sent the, the rate of insurance up through the roof and made it virtually impossible for anybody to even pay the monthly premiums, much less the deductible, yeah, that's what you've done. Rather than have a bunch of people without any insurance that's going to cause bankruptcies to go up, they have managed to take money from the poor, and if they get sick, they are still going to be bankrupt. They're just going to be more poor now than they were before. That's Obamacare in action. But that's okay, because we're starting to revolt here. Let's look at this. 
LA Times, the Los Angeles Times, where the presidential race stands today. Let's take a look here. This is from 3,000 eligible voters until Election Day. They've been asking them daily where they stand. Clinton, 42.6%. Donald J. Trump, 48.2%. Okay, we've talked on here before about the uh, IBD poll. Well, the IBD poll has been the most reliable, historically speaking. They've been calling it a one or two race for a really long time now. And now you've got the LA Times saying it's a 48.2 over 42.6. That's a huge, huge, huge lead for Trump, friends. That, that's really, really good news. Again, nobody's saying he's going to be the perfect candidate. We've already talked about how he'd rather be... He could be rather hard on the Fourth Amendment. But what? Your alternative is the Fourth Amendment's going to be protected by, by Hillary Clinton? That's laughable. Uh, Gary Johnson has way more problems than uh, Trump does in terms of other things he's in favor of, like NAFTA and illegal immigration. Well, look at this. This is from IDB. Now, don't tell me they're not the most reliable polling data, because they are. Historically speaking, there is nobody with a higher average of presidential corrective polling than them. It's mathematically true. Where are they at? Dead heat. 44 to 44. That brings us to the Dundee of the day. I have not been doing Dundee's of the day. Because I've been doing the 12 days of Trump. But you guys have been putting up with me in makeup and coming in half asleep to do the show because I've been doing 20 things at one time. So we're going to go ahead and do it. The dumb deal of the day brought to you by Change Transportation. Uh, good news for you, bad news for Change. Lately they've been going through a lot of different things in the company and they were down for a minute and they're back up and running again. And a lot of people didn't know it. So if you call now, I guarantee there's going to be somebody to take your call at change because they just restructured everything, made everything a little more prudent, a little more quick, and uh, way to go change transportation. Let them know you heard about it, like, heard about it on the correct views. Don't of the day for Tim Kaine. Now, friends, I have had some shows that were less than amazing. I mean, I've had shows that have flopped. I really have. So is Vice Presidential Candidate Tim Kaine. Now, a shout out to Buzzbin, by the way, who gave us an amazing show last Friday, yesterday. Three people in line to see Tim Kaine in Florida. That's right. Three people. Fired, ready to go. One, two, three. Three people. That's what it says. Three people. One, two, three. To see Tim Kaine in Fort Myers, Florida. Three he was speaking in room 102 of Building U at the Florida Southwest Chester College's Thomas Edison Lee campus. NBC called these three people a small line. NBC's hiding. A uh, small line, three people. <sighs> Anything they can to cover how bad Clinton's doing. The line grew to a couple of dozen before the doors opened to room 102. In other words, Nobody. There is no excitement in this campaign at all. And the dirty secret is it does not look like this is going to be as close as they're saying it is. It looks like Mr. Trump is really going to knock this one out of the park. And then, of course, we all need to do what we said we were going to do. We need to make sure he keeps his promises, and we need to make sure we keep our Fourth Amendment. Friends, you're listening to The Correct Views. If you'd like to donate to the show, please do. The Correct Views at Hotmail.com. You can donate through PayPal. Any money you give me goes towards a better show. Hitting share helps. Yeah, subscribing helps. And if you want to get one of these cool-ass stickers, that would also help. It's $5 for one, $7 for both. They're autographed. And again, the correct views on Hotmail.com. Let me know you want one. I will make sure you get them. And look at that. Again, thank you, all of you, for uh, putting up with me and all the black makeup. Have a good one, friends. Good night. God bless.